Hi, my name is Sharon Nelson, HR manager responsible for talent acquisition with the City of Columbia. Talent in the City is our effort to highlight and showcase the departments with the City of Columbia, the department's impact players, as well as the talent who make the city run every single day. These impact players and departments oftentimes don't get the spotlight that they deserve, but without them, the city of Columbia would not run as a beautifully oiled machine that it is. My name is Arielle Scott. I am a team lead with City of Columbia Customer Care Department. My position is to assist other customer care representatives if they need any kind of guidance or they need help assisting a customer. I also deal with escalated calls if customers are not maybe happy with what they received. I take escalated calls to help them further. Um, I did start off as a CSR. That was pretty much same assisting customers, um, doing the best I can. Doing this job, you have to love to assist customers and um, want to do everything you can to help people. But I okay. pretty much took control of calls, help with emails, um, help customers get set up with accounts and at new properties, things such as that. So I was looking for a career move and I decided that my kids were you know, self-sufficient and a little bit more independent, so it was the perfect time. So I applied for the position uh, customer care administrator and was interviewed and selected for the position. And here I am, four years later. It is very personal for me. Um, working in customer service is not easy. Um, some may think it is, but you know, dealing with people all day, you truly have to have a passion for people, um, a passion for serving and helping others. Um, so in my role, that is one of my jobs, that is something I take very serious, is empowering and, and trying to foster that type of environment among my staff. We are here to serve, we are here to, here to help. That is our, our reason and our purpose for, for being here. Um, so yes, um, I love the, the interaction that I have um, on a daily basis with um, not just you know customers, but also my staff. Um, I feel like you know you pour into your staff, you will get out what you put in. So um, I'm, I'm really big on that, and um, I feel like if you talk to any of our staff or any of my staff, they will tell you that that I am big on you know supporting them and, and giving them what they need to be successful in their jobs. So prior to working here, I was a substitute teacher and I also worked at Boys and Girls Club. Um, it was, I loved the job, but I wanted something different. So I decided to give the city a try because I am a city child. My dad retired from the city, so I gave it a try and I loved it, had it left. <laughs> well, the primary cost that we receive in the call center would consist of billing and water maintenance. Um, those are our primary calls that we get on a daily basis. Uh, customers inquiring about their bills um, with maintenance, it's mostly repairs that are um, needing to be completed by the city or them reporting an issue as a water leak, such as a water leak or something like that. I've been with the city for uh, five years, going on six years, as a customer service supervisor for the past two years. Um, I started as a customer service team lead. Coming to the city of Columbia, um, I, I had no knowledge of anything to do with water or anything like that, so that was a new experience for me. However, the training um, at that time, it was, it was a three-week training, and I felt that I learned a whole lot within that three, three weeks period, and I was able to excel, and since that time period, I've become very knowledgeable with everything um, dealing with water and um, other departments as well, solid waste maintenance, wastewater, all of that. So, um, but the training here, it is very detailed and um, our training, uh, you are, you, you learn a lot with our training and you just have to be able to keep that information and use it when you get out here on the floor, on the call center floor as well. Um, I believe strongly in promoting from within. I feel like it creates um, a good morale and, um, you know, who wouldn't want to advance? So um, I, I strongly believe in promoting from within if we have, you know, eligible um, uh, 
employees that are already here and once a position comes available such as a team lead in our call center or a supervisor position, um, an online specialist, um, we, we look first internally. Um, so we look first to see, you know, at our, our applicants who has applied internally and see if, hey, this is an opportunity for someone to advance that's already here. Um, so um, there are definitely times when we, we do have advancement opportunities and we're always looking to possibly add new positions um, as times are changing with technology and what have you, um, you know, there comes a time where we might you know, need to add a position and create a new special position and hire for that. So um, always looking to see what our needs are and, and then um, doing what we need to do to incorporate that into our department. It did take me roughly five years, but that was me. <laughs> um, I, during my time with City of Columbia, I had the opportunity to go back to school. So the city does allow you, they help towards your tuition. So I took advantage of that, got my bachelor's degree in business administration. And after that, I decided to progress in my career and go up to the next level. I love it. <laughs> I've been in this position for six years. After being here for roughly five years, I decided to go back to school. I got my degree in business administration. The city did help pay towards my tuition. That gave me that opportunity and allowed me to progress into the team lead. We are required to contact other departments when a situation arrives where it um, requires you to go to check on a work order, a service order, to see what the status of it is to um, to, advise, to be able to advise the customer of where they're standing at at the point at that time. Um, so we do have to have, we are required to have a great relationship with um, other departments such as maintenance, um, the engineering, uh, wastewater, solid waste, all of those. Um, so you have to have a, a great working relationship with other departments within the city. So working in this department as a customer service representative um, definitely has some challenges, to be honest. Um, you know, dealing with people all day, um, concerns, issues, complaints, um, being on the phones a lot. Um, so therefore, we try to break up the monotony of, you know, constantly being on the phone. So we have other duties that our customer service reps are doing. Um, so they're not just all day on the phone. So that can entail processing new account contracts, um, processing emails, processing um, mail. Um, and also we, we offer remote work. So um, our CSRs can work two days remote, two days out of the week which um, has been a game changer for us. Um, so as I said, um, the pandemic kind of forced us to look at other ways of, of working. And so um, we have continued to do that. And I'm grateful for that because that does um, help our CSRs. You know, they're saving money on gas, of course, coming to the office. And um, several of them just like, you know, working remote. So, you know, having that option. Um, we also try to foster an environment where um, you know, we do things, we, we celebrate, we, we love to eat, um, and we are big on positive reinforcement. So anytime we get great compliments or, um, um, you know, emails and calls from our customers, we share that because we want everybody to, to celebrate those things. So we really try to create a, a good, positive work environment, environment um, in spite of, you know, dealing with, you know, customers all day and, and complaints and, and what have you. Um, so that's a big part of, of you know, working here is, is the environment, and I think we've done a good job in, in changing the culture and changing the environment to a more, um, I would say, pleasant one. For more information about this position and its department, please visit www.columbiasc.gov.